Alright, so here we go, another another example using L'Hopital's rule. So, uh, as I've said in the other videos, basically what we have is um, we have the limit of f of x over g of x as x goes to a, and we get we end up with 0 over 0, infinity over infinity, or negative infinity over negative infinity, then L'Hopital's rule says that the limit of this is equal to the limit of the derivative of the numerator over the derivative of the denominator as x goes to a, provided that this limit here on the right exists or is plus or minus infinity. And the rule also applies if this uh, this x goes to a if that's replaced with x goes to plus or minus infinity or x goes to a from the right or the left. Alright, so let's take a look at this example. A little bit different than the other ones. Uh, Alright, so we have the limit of 1 over natural log x minus 1 over x minus 1 as the, and that's the limit as x goes to 1 from the right. <clears throat> Alright, so let's see what we have. Well, let's take the limit of the first term and then the limit of this second term here. Well, if you remember, there's 1. And remember, natural log, or the graph of log looks something like that. It's just a rough sketch. So as we come in to 1 from the right hand side, okay, you can see the y values are going to 0. Okay, So this denominator is going to 0, so we have 1 over something really, really small. So that means this term would be going to infinity. All right. And then this term, we're coming in to 0 from the right, so that means we're plugging in numbers like 1.1 in for x, 1 1.01, 1.001, 1.0001, okay? That's coming in to 1 from the right. Well, if we do, if we do this 1.1 minus 1, that's going to give us 0 0.1. 1 1.01 minus 1 is 0 0.01. And so you see where this is going. We'll, we do this minus this. That's going to be 0 0.0001. So you can see the denominator is getting really small. And the numerator is 1. And so this term would be going to infinity. So we end up with infinity minus infinity. And we can't do that. Okay. In other words, you can't say, well, infinity minus infinity, that limit is going to be 0. Well, that's, I mean... It may be zero, we don't know yet, but you can't say it's zero because of that. Okay. Alright. So let's see how we how we're gonna do this. Well, first thing we might want to do is let's go ahead and combine these. We'll get a common denominator. Okay. So this is gonna be the limit as x goes to one from the right, and then I'm gonna get my common denominator, which is going to be x minus 1 times natural log x. I'm assuming that we still remember how to add and subtract fractions. Alright, so we know up here we'll have what? x minus 1, and then for this numerator we'll have natural log x. And so let's just simplify a little bit. I'll write that a little better. That's going to be the limit as x goes to 1 from the right. So that's going to be x minus 1 minus natural log x over x minus 1 times natural log of x. Alright, so let's see what happens now. Okay, so as we go to 1 from the right hand side, so that's going to be 1 minus 1 is 0 minus, and then remember how we talked about when we talked about 1 x, x going to 1 from the right on this one, how that goes to 0. Okay, so we've got 1 minus 1 is 0 minus 0 is 0. 
All right, so we've got a zero in the numerator. Now hopefully we'll have a zero in the denominator. Well, plug the one in, that's zero. As uh, x goes to one from the right, same thing that we talked about here, that goes to zero. So there we go, we have zero over zero. So now we can apply L'Hopital's rule. So this is gonna be the limit as x goes to 1 from the right. So I'm going to take the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. Well, the derivative of x is 1. The derivative of 1 is 0. Minus, and then the derivative of natural log x, remember that's just 1 over x, divided by, all right, now let's look at this. Here, we have to use the product rule. So it's going to be the derivative of the first function, which is 1, times the second function, which is natural log x, plus the derivative of the second function, which is 1 over x, times the first function. Okay, that was just, that's just the product rule. All right, so let's look at this. Well, I can... I can go ahead and distribute the 1 over x. Let's see what happens there. The limit as x goes to 1 from the right of 1 minus 1 over x over uh, natural log x plus 1 minus 1 over x. So all I did here is I just distributed the 1 over x. All right, so now let's, let's see if we can simplify this a little more. Well, if I multiply the numerator and denominator, I'll do this in a different color, multiply the numerator and denominator by x over x, what that's going to do is that's going to get rid of the fractions. Okay. So, let's see, I get the limit as x goes to 1 from the right, so x times 1 is x, minus x times 1 over x is 1. And then x times natural log x is x natural log x. x times 1 is x minus, and then x times 1 over x is 1. All right. So let's see what happens when we take the limit of this. Well, when I plug the 1 in, I get what? 0. Okay. Well. The answer could be zero, huh? So that's zero over. And then as x goes to one from the right, well, that's one. Then remember the natural log of x as x goes to one from the right. We talked about that up here. That's zero. Okay, so that's zero. And we plug the one in. That's one minus one is. Well, look at that. We get we get zero over zero again. So let's apply L'Hopital's rule again. So that's going to give us the limit as x goes to 1 from the right. The derivative of the numerator is just 1 over. <clears throat> now let's do the derivative of the denominator. Well, you see on, on this part here, I'm going to have to use the product rule. All right, so let's take the derivative of that. So that's derivative of the first function times the second function plus the derivative of the second function, which is 1 over x, times the first function, x. Plus, now I'm going to take the derivative of x as 1, and then the derivative of minus 1 is 0. Okay. So I get the limit as x goes to 1 from the right of 1 over, that's going to be natural log x and then 1 over x times x this is going to be 1 and 1 plus 1 is 2. Alright, let's see what we get now. So this is going to equal, well the numerator is just 1 and then the limit as x goes to uh, 1 from the right for natural log x okay, Remember, we've talked about that a bunch in this problem. That is 0. So I get 1 over, and then this is 0, 
and then plus the 2 and so I get 1 half. Alright so I hope this video's helped. Uh, I've tried to show you know pretty much all the all the different things that you're going to come across when you're using L'Hopital's rule in the videos that I've done. Uh, so if you want to if you want to check those out, I've got a video example uh, that has examples one and two in one video, three and fours in one video. Uh, example five has a video by itself, as well as example six has a video by by itself, and then uh, example seven, this one has a video by itself, which is just this one. All right, so uh, hope you'll check them out, and if you like them, you can subscribe. All right, thanks.